Welcome to the part two video of T cells. In the first video, we talked about the T cell receptor, the TCR, which is right here on the T cell, and then we talked about the major histability complex and how major histability complex restriction refers to that all major histability complex is unique and individual to you and to every different and every person has a different kind of makeup if you will of these proteins that make up this major histability complex the take home idea was that you have two classes class 1 and class 2 major histability complexes and on class 1 they come all nucleated cells have the class 1 and phagocytes and you can go to wikipedia.org phagocytes and it will give you a list of all the cells in your body that are considered phagocytes and what phagocytes do is they consume bacteria or microbes or foreign objects they eat them and then they destroy them and then they display like a head or an arm or a leg if you will to the T cells right here which is an antigen and then the T cell has the responsibility of warning or alerting the immune system if something is in air if there's something foreign in your body the T cell has the responsibility of you know warning the immune system to help fight it and so what we are going to talk about in this video is how the T cell warns the immune system what are the responses if the T cell it's kind of an if then statement if the T cell receives an antigen then it does something if the T cell has a normal part of you and displays it to the T cell. The T cell, T cell should do nothing. In the case of autoimmune diseases, it does something, which is a, a wrong thing to do. And if the and if the T cell receives any kind of other foreign object, it will do several things. And so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about that right now. If you have any questions, review review the last video, watch it again, and it should clear it up. So in this video, I got this picture right here, this picture here from Wikipedia. And so if here you have a T cell, and here you have the T cell receptor right here, and here you have the major histability complex, class 2. Okay. Remember that class 2 are on phagocytes. So if I scroll up a little bit, the major histability class 2 right here, these are phagocyte cells that have the major histability complex 2. And in this case, it is going to display an antigen. Okay. And so then what's going to happen is this T cell is, is going to now change names. It's the same T cell, but it's just going to change names and it's going to be called a mature helper T cell, a T cell or a CD4+. Plus. Why? Because there's a molecule that's called a CD4 plus molecule, this molecule right here, and what it does is it kind of it kind of sticks out and it binds to the major histability complex right here. So this is the CD4 right here. CD4 plus molecule. And so once this gets triggered, once this T cell or this, uh, this T cell is presented with an antigen from a phagocyte through the major histability complex 2 molecule, then the T cell will kind of uh, change names and it will perform a function that is a helper T cell. Why it's a helper T cell or a CD4 helper T cell or a CD4 plus cell T cell, um, there's a lot of different names, but those are kind of all this meaning the same thing. The reason why is because it starts secreting cytokines. And cytokines are messengers. Just think of them as messengers. They're going to send messages to other cells and the immune system part of the immune system and what it what it what the cytokines do is they help B cells to produce antibodies remember there's a T cell population and a B cell we haven't talked about the B cells but we will in the next few videos 
so but the T cell will send these messengers out to these B cells it will it will send a message to the B cells to produce antibodies and we'll talk about what antibodies are and how they how they help um, destroy foreign microbes and stuff so just remember that the helper T cells are an assistant if you will they are there they help the immune system kill whatever is producing this antigen and so how they do that is they help B cells produce antibodies and then they help macrophages to destroy phagocytized microbes because that macrophage macrophage is a phagocyte it will ingest uh, that bacteria and so these cytokines will help augment the destruction of this bacteria because once this bacteria is inside this phagocyte it is considered a phagocytized microbe and so it will help augment that pathway so that's the CD4 uh, T cell that's the helpers help you know they say a helper T cell and there is oh I forgot this there is 60% of all peripheral peripheral blood circulating T cells have the CD4 molecules on them 60% now let's go over to the major histability complex one on all nucleated cells you have the major histability complex one on all nucleated cells here um, you have this major histability complex and what the major histability or complex yeah what the major histability complex one all nu on all nucleated cells helps to distinguish self now how these major histability complex cells are beneficial not only in uh, displaying normal self to T cells they can also display antigens now how do they do that is through uh, virus or tumor cells so let's say this is an this is all this major histability complex is residing on all your nucleated cells let's say a virus comes in here you know let's just say a virus comes in here and it comes down and it injects its DNA or RNA or whatever it is into this cell and then the DNA take you know this cell kind of gets converted gets taken over by this virus well guess what remember how this major histability complex you know uh, displayed parts normal parts from cellular metabolism and leftover leftover parts from just normal cell function well this major histability complex is going to start displaying parts of this virus that are abnormal it's not uh, not all the parts are going to be abnormal but some of them will be and then this T cell because it's a mature T cell it will recognize hey this isn't normal and so what happens is this T cell will convert into a mature cytotoxic let me scroll down here a mature cytotoxic T cell and what cytotoxic T cells do is they will in turn destroy this cell they will in turn destroy that cell that presented parts of the virus they they go on they kind of turn into microphages phagocytes if you will and they try and they destroy they destroy that cell or any cell that has that antigen so that's pretty cool also the they will destroy tumor cells so say a tumor is taking over this and you know say the tumor is producing you know foreign or abnormal proteins in any way that will become an antigen the T cell will turn into a cytotoxic T cell and it will kill the the tumor cell or the cell that uh, presented an abnormal antigen a not a non self type protein through this through this process and so that that's pretty cool too now a difference the few differences is this is a cd8 
plus because this molecule here is a CD8 plus. Now there's type type of the same thing, and I'll show you a better picture of this, but I'm just kind of drawing it in here. There's a, a C, the CD8 plus protein that sticks out of this membrane of this uh, the the T cell. This is a CD8 molecule right here. Right here is CD. Oops, sorry, CD8 plus. This is a CD8 plus molecule. And so that will turn into, so the CD4 uh, T cell can also be called a mature helper T cell once it's activated and it starts producing these cytokines. The CD8 plus also can be called a cytotoxic T cell once it is activated by uh, major histability complex one. So you gotta remember that major histability class one corresponds to CD8 plus and major histability complex two responds to or correlates with CD8, CD4 plus. So I hope that is clear as mud and we understand that. If you don't understand it, watch it a few times or email me if, email me if you have questions. Now, one thing uh, that here's a better picture that I took out of uh, Robin's Basic Pathology 8 Edition. It's a great textbook. So here's the major histability complex. You got the alpha and the beta chains. Now you can have gamma and delta chains if you are like in the respiratory tract or other parts of the body, but in the majority is the alpha and beta chains. And this is the major histability complex two, class two. So it's referring to the CD4. And you got the TCR, the heterodimer, alpha and beta chains. Oh, sorry, I messed that up. The major histability complex is usually alpha and beta, but then you can have differences. You can have differences in this alpha and beta TCR. The CD3 molecules, there's these parts of the CD3 molecules, and they're responsible for producing the signal that will do that will go inside the cell. There's also the CD28 uh, molecule on these uh, T cell. This is a T cell down here. T cell. That kind of will help stabilize this connection. And this is what I was talking about, this CD4 molecule here, is it kind of sticks out and it interacts with uh, a, a non non-changing, if you will, kind of a constant portion of this major histability complex too. So the CD4 will always bind with this kind of non-changing uh, constant type thing because it will always need to bind with that. And there's, you know, this is all biochemical. These are just little, you know, proteins and they kind of interact due to chemical uh, means. And so that's kind of when you think about it that's pretty that's pretty cool and then this molecule right here the CD4 this orange thing it can be changed it can have a CD8 so if this is a T cell if this is a CD4 plus then it will have the CD4 molecule if it's a T cell CD CD8 plus then it will have the CD8 plus protein right here but then it will only bind to this class one. If it's a CD8, it will have to bind to this major histability complex class one molecule. Okay, so that, that kind of sums up T cells and how they work and, and what they do. So we'll see you in the next video.